Hey Scrappers, I'm back. This is Raquel Minette, and I'm coming to you with a DIY video. Now, if you want to know where I've been, comment down below, give this video a like, and I'll do an updated video on my life in the last five years. This video was inspired by Beauty Meets DIY, so definitely make sure that you check her out here on YouTube, and let's go ahead and get into this tutorial. So, what we're going to be using are four pizza plates from Dollar Tree. Yes, ma'am, Dollar Tree. And then these packet of jeweled dots. I use three of them along with E6000 and Gorilla Glue. Also with that, I picked up some gems that were in the candle section of the Dollar Tree. And you're going to need six of those along with 16 of these plastic bowls. I'm trying to, you know, use sign language here to tell you. So you're gonna be using eight bowls for each table. So as you can see, I have my little helper. I'm in the purple, my youngest daughter, she's 12, her name is Jaden. She is in the gray pants. So right here, we are just gonna show that we are taking off all of the plastic little stickies on the bottom you want to make sure that you take that off so that it does not show through the beautiful artistry that you come up with once this is all completed so i'm just going to go ahead and fast forward all through this it takes a little bit of time but patience patience is key okay so just make sure that you're patient when you're doing this project because it does take some time to do it so right here she is showing you the gems that we got so then right here, I'm just going to go ahead and cut along the top of the package for those jewel gems. All of these items you can find at the Dollar Tree. And then right here, we are putting them alongst the bowl grids. Now, I try to like count six rows for each and then put a gem and then six rows and then put a gem so that you would have four rows of gems all the way around. But once I started to stack them I don't know something happened where it did not add up correctly so you can just put the gem on however you choose to do them and then right here you just show me kind of stacking them up trying to align the gems but whenever i did it i was like uh oh that's not right so then right here this is the fun part i use gorilla glue and e6000 i put a little gorilla glue then i put the e6000 and then i stack them then, as you can see, my daughter is also doing the same thing. So we just kind of alternated. Like, she took the Gorilla Glue, then I took the E6000. And then the first bowl, you want to make sure that that bowl is facing down so that it holds. Then the second bowl, you want to make sure that it's facing up. Third bowl, down. Next one, up, down. All the way until you get to the top. So right there, I showed you. So then right here with the E6000, she's showing you the gems and what they look like. And then right here, she's giving you a close-up. So what we've already done, which I lost the clip and I didn't even realize it, is I took two of those pizza pans and I glued them upside down. So it's the top at the top and then the bottom at the bottom so that you get that grid in the middle so that you can be able to push the gems through and it will stay. So right there, I'm trying to get a close up. You guys bear with me. I'm back. I'm 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 new back into like all of this. So just bear with me, please. So right here, she's showing that there's two gems there. So then we're just gonna go ahead and complete both trays with the gems. And I end up just layering it with glue and then sticking the gems in. And then right here, she put E6000 and Gorilla Glue. And then she put the plate on top. So right here is where we're just going to slow it down and show you how we put the glue on each little groove. And then we also put the Gorilla Glue around and then we put the plate on top. Once the plate was on top, I did put two paint cans on top of that and I left it alone for 24 hours so that the E6000 could cure. So as you can see, it's looking absolutely beautiful and, and I'm just loving it. It's, it's wonderful. And then here is my finished product. All right, so here you see my finished project. I have also done a DIY on this bottle that I spray painted, added some feathers and some gems, went to Hobby Lobby and got some flowers to put in the inside. So as you can see, there's two of my tables sitting on the side of my TV stand, which I am now in the process of redoing. 
So that video should be coming up soon as to how I redid this. And then right here, this is how it looks as of today. I'm still doing some painting um, on my entertainment little TV stand. So just bear with me. But I put my picture of me and my husband, a candle and a candle holder that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I just love it. So if you guys want more videos like this, make sure that you comment below. Give me a big like. And until next time, see you later, scrappers, and enjoy your day.